All right, what is going on, my dude? So we are back here today with some very exciting news. We're gonna be throwing out two really quick videos, one for the hood and one for Civil Warrior with all of the info on their buffs with some highlighted information here about what's important, what you need to know. Um, as you can see from you know where I am and there's no border or anything and um, the, the video might be a little spotty, the sound might be a little weird, I'm sorry about that. I'm not actually home right now, I'm working on a lower budget laptop um, but I will be damned if I don't get to throw out some of this really fun buff information which you guys know is some of my favorite stuff so up first we are gonna run with the hood here um, it's very early in the morning and I'm very tired I'm just waking up and the sun's in my eyes so sorry if I'm squinting but anyway man so we're gonna jump right into it today okay we're gonna get right into it so the hood's mechanics all right um, the hood's new kit makes him the mystical master of miss all right his new hex pistols which is a completely new mechanic for the guy um, it gives him a totally new avenue of damage an upgrade to his miss it lets you reliably deal with specials if used correctly more damage more reliable utility um, a shining new light he's a very 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 different he feels like a different champion now he really does it feels more so along the lines of a rework than a moderate to me um, of course there's a lot of stuff um, that stayed the same, but there's also a lot of stuff that's different. We'll get into that. So when it comes to prestige, right? Um, his prestige, it, it's it's not the best. Um, you know, in the past, some of the buffs have had some like really nice prestige buffs. This guy's it's not the best. It's all right. Um, as a five star, as five sixty five, it's ten uh, three seven zero. It's actually pretty low, to be entirely honest. Six star is thirteen three thirty. So. Um, it's a little disappointing to me because I was considering taking him to rank 3 um, as my next Mystic uh, rank 3. I still might, but it's like I was hoping he would get like a really nice prestige boost, but hey, it's alright, man. Um, so, basic abilities. Invisibility, Stagger, Shock, Bleed. That's that's the same, right? But the way we go about it is going to be different. So, Strengths. Miss, alright? With Hood's update, he has more miss more consistently. Use this to deal with some hard dodge specials or find some openings on your opponents, alright? Stagger, of course. Um, Hood has near constant uptime on a stagger, letting deal with tons of buffs with ease, alright? Now, um, you're probably going to notice you don't see that hex thing there, right? Remember the hex seal on the special two? We'll talk about that. Um, so weaknesses nullify because the invisibility is a buff, blah, 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 blah. So, new mechanic. Hex pistols, all right? Loaded bullets, 28. Max loaded bullets, 42. Cool. The hood's bullets persist from fight to fight within a quest. He has persistent charges now. It feels like a really, really new, fresh mechanic. Really, really cool stuff. Um, so if you nullify a buff, you load two bullets to make the opponent miss while invisible. You load one when the invisibility ends. Um, so the way it works is when you use a medium attack, all right, you put a stacking hex on the opponent, lasts for 12 seconds, and each hex deals a burst of over 1,000 energy damage when it expires. It's refreshed when a new hex is gained. So if you do like medium, light, 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 medium, you'll have two stacking hex charges, right? Um, so the, the, the dev noted here, Hood's new damage mechanics stack a ton of these things and cash in for big damage in the heavy attack. We'll get to the heavy attack in a bit. Um, when you dash back and hold block, you know, just like always, you gain the invisibility buff for 8 seconds. When ending, it goes in cooldown for 6 seconds, of course. I'm not sure if that duration has changed. It might be. But look at this. While active, Hood's uh, attacks gain plus 600, less rounded, critical damage rating, and ignore armor rating and block efficiency. That's really, really good, especially when you combine it now with the new Strife synergy, so that he's going to have even more attack when he's invisible, too. So that's going to be really, really good for the Hood. He has a lot of potential to have some really nice attack now, I think, um, especially with that synergy. It's, I'm really excited to test that out. Really 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 excited um i think he has a nice one with kingpin too now i think i don't know <laughs> um but while active incoming attacks have a 120 percent chance to miss okay so each time the opponent misses an attack the miss chance is decreased by a flat 20 percent until the invisibility ends so basically you could take two hits into the phase with a 100 percent guaranteed chance to miss it that could be a special attack it could be a basic attack it could be anything right i can't be a special three obviously but you can use this to dodge like for example like um uh, Annihilus is special two, let's say, right? You, he goes up and he has like three beams. So you do like miss, miss, and then you dex the last part. So there's a lot of potential for that, all right? And if you pair it with the special two, you always like cycle the special two. You're going to have consistent uptime on the invisibility. And, you know, of course, if he's awakened, it's the same signature ability where if the invisibility is on, I think, no, actually now, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll get to it. <laughs> um, but critical hits. 100% um, chance to inflict a non-stacking stagger passive lasting 5 seconds. Um, when staggered, blah blah blah, that buff and all buffs are triggered at the same time. Unnullified, really really strong um, mechanic, like always, he has a very strong stagger ability. 
Um, when the stagger ends, it inflicts 400. Let's just round it up. Direct damage on the opponent, and he heals the hood for a matching amount. Okay, so he still has that nice little bit of life steal. I think that's a little bit better than it used to be. Um, it used to be 88% chance on a crit to, um, to pass a stagger. However, this stagger is shorter, so I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. That's going to be good for getting more life steal as the fight goes on. But in general, um, that could be potentially bad, but the 100% chance on crits is very nice. Heavy attacks, pause all bleed, cool. Cause the hexes to expire immediately with a 75% potency, all right? So keep in mind that when they expire on their own, they, they have a burst of 1,100 damage. Um, if you throw in 75% potency, let's just call it 1,000. Let's say it's going to be 1,750. That's pretty good if you have a lot of those guys up. Uh, special one, same thing as always, 100% chance to put a shock debuff. If it expires, 100% chance to put a stun, right? Um, special two. The final shot spends 5 bullets, puts 100% chance to inflict a Hex Vulnerability debuff, increasing the potency of all new and existing Hexes by 50% until the Hex on the opponent expires, right? So, think about this for a second. Also, at the end of the attack, activate Invisibility. Remember, we have more attack rating while we're invisible with some synergies and stuff. So, if we have a lot of the Hexes, right, we throw a Special 2, they all gain 75% potency. We go into a Heavy Attack. Um, no, we, we, they gain 50% potency from the special too. We do a heavy attack, 75% potency from that. Lots, and lots of damage potential there. So yeah, even says pair with this heavy attack to maximize the damage with your hexes. Special three. Um, plus 1700 attack rating for each full bar of power the opponent has, 100% chance to put a bleed buff. So if you um, throw this when the opponent's at a special three, you're essentially going to be having almost 6000 plus attack rating. That's pretty good, man. It really, really is. And if you're, um, if you're invisible and you have the strife synergy, you're going to have even more attack rating. Now, obviously you shouldn't just willy-nilly throw the special three when he's at three bars of power. However, with the sig ability now, it used to be when your invisibility was on cooldown, you have some power steal. But now look at this. The hood becomes immune to all sun effects. Additionally, firing a bullet, which is, you know, medium attack. So additionally, medium attacks on um, while invisible has a 45% chance to steal 10% of the opponent's current power, gaining twice that amount in the process. So if they're at a special three, right? Um, or just about at a special three, you can dash back, hold block, go invisible, parry, light attack to bring the special three, use your special three, they're parried, go right in, medium, and if it doesn't, um, what do you call it? If it doesn't power drain them, you know, light, 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 medium, hope it power drains them. If it doesn't, you're probably gonna die though. So it's a little bit risky for sure, but there are some things you can do with it. Um, synergy bonuses, uh, Joe fix it, Kingpin, uh, armor rating, critical rating, block chance, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really matter there. Um, Dark Empowerment, that's always been there with Dormammu, Enemies, Dr. Voodoo, Tiger, Dr. Strange, um, you know, Critical Rating, some perfect block chance. Yeah, very, very basic synergies. He still has the synergy with Ghost. That's on, that's on Ghost. It's not like that's, I know it's not here, but, um, that's not being taken away. Don't freak out. Um, but yeah, man, so that's really going to be it on the hood. So obviously he's a little bit different and you know, the Hexseal is gone. I feel like people are going to freak out about that a little bit. Um, he's kind of, for me, going from a very, very decent utility champ with really really weak damage to really probably hopefully good damage with less than ideal um utility because for me i really like the special two hex and now it's gone so i'm probably gonna put like no more hex uh no more special two hex in the thumbnail um, because it's it's just it's, it's different. He feels like a different champion now, right? Um, but I'm excited to test him out um, I know some people aren't gonna be so excited about him because of the changes to the hex, but We'll have to see man. It is a balance change for a reason and um, I you know I was talking to Kabam about it They said that like he just feels way too strong if he has that as well with a really strong stagger now So we're gonna have to wait and see um, what happens with that, but anyway, my dudes, that's going to be it for this The Hood Champion Spotlight. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about the new Hood in the comment section below, and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any fun Hood buffed gameplay coming to you very, very soon. I'll see you around.